Okay, folks, originally the plan was to do about six foot, maybe eight foot high ceiling in the uh, second story. This is my wife's idea. It's about 12 feet in the air. She's planning on having us do a loft, so to speak. Basically a whole third floor. I hate to admit it, but I think it was a good idea seeing as how we would have had to cut these timbers down anyways. We're just working with the same timbers without cutting them in half. Just gonna be a little bit higher. Stay tuned folks. We got seven more to do before rain uh, Friday, which is today's Wednesday. compression ring and a tension ring. So tension ring will go on the outside of these cants up top. And then in the middle, we're gonna have a compression ring right over there. Which way is this one? Go. This center post eventually is gonna come out as well. But for now, I'm thinking I'll leave it all in place get the scaffolding up here and see if maybe there's some kind of way I can prop it up off of this because we're gonna have about a four foot rise at the peak down to the outside edge of the wall. So, here we go. Okay, Do I? No, I have to take them off. All right, it's progress. Given that we got snow coming in two days and we have no roof. That's a lightning storm. Mm -hmm. The snow's Oh. <laughs>
How's that? <laughs> So it is day two of our roof project and we somehow have to figure out how to suspend this in the air, the two of us, so we can start putting up our support beams for the roof. Hey Sayla, are you ready for this work day? Are you ready? You're just waking up from your nap, hey? Hey, do you have a smile? Can we see a smile? <laughs> there it is. Whee! So, this is our Hyper Adobe and our second floor. Okay. I've got this spaced out and I've got the length where I want it for the height of the ceiling ring where the cap of the ring is. Okay. Supposedly. Okay. And we'll see. Maisie, you should go down. Maisie, go down. Down. Go down. Down. Go. Go. Down. Go down. Maisie, go. Go down. Go. <laughs> this is where it's going. I'm gonna put some screws in just to get ready. And we're totally winging it with the angles because the rest of our um, nonagon is kind of different spacing and everything. It's not like perfect sides. Whereas this is perfect sides. So we're hoping that those line up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Anything but perfect throw. Oh good. Nice throw. Oh, I 
where's the wind? Do you have a pencil? Um, don't ask me questions. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, I have a pen. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. It's like 22.5 right on the knob. Oh, boy. Well, that's pretty exciting. I know. <laughs> Some finessing, I tell ya. What's that? Some finessing, I tell ya. Yeah, but not too bad, honestly. No. You just set the angle of the scale saw, and then you go to that 22.5 and zing. How's the level looking up here? more of a reach today. In case any of you folks are wondering, is that the roof of our Hyper Adobe? The bare, wide open roof with slats seeing right through into the basement? With an impending storm? With possible snow? The answer is yes. That's why we're in a hurry to put this roof on. There we have it, folks. I'm not really comfortable spinning around without looking where I'm going. Woo. And that is the I'm dizzy. Wow. Okay. Time to get done. Alright, so here we are yet again. I feel like in every one of our videos we at least have one shot where we are working into the dark. Tomorrow we're supposed to get a storm and literally what I'm standing on, which was covered originally in a tarp, is just wood. And this is the roof we're trying to build. We're trying to just get up these beams so we can put a tarp over this until we can get to the next stage. But with the snow and the rain and the storms coming in these next two days here, 
we just have to work into the night and there's really no other option. Oh gosh. Act natural. Oh golly. Wind. <laughs> that was our snow load test. I gotta get out of this tree. <laughs> 